Mastering relative clauses. Spotting them in complex sentences. Hello there. I'm delighted to see you again on our English language learning journey. Today, we're taking a deep dive into relative clauses, specifically how to spot them in complex sentences. By the end of this video, you'll be a whiz at identifying these handy tools that add depth and detail to your communication. Let's get started. Before we jump in, let's do a quick recap on relative clauses. These are types of clauses that provide extra information about something referred to in the sentence. They are introduced by relative pronouns such as who, which, that, etc. An example of a relative clause is the man who lives next door is a doctor, where who lives next door is the relative clause. Now, Let's focus on spotting these relative clauses in complex sentences. Keep in mind the characteristics of relative clauses. 1. They start with a relative pronoun or relative adverb, like, who, which, that, where, when, etc. 2. They contain a subject and a verb, but they can't stand alone as a complete sentence. 3. They provide extra information, acting as an adjective, describing a noun or pronoun in the main clause. Here comes the fun part, spotting relative clauses in complex sentences. Let's look at this sentence. The book that I am reading is very interesting. The part that I am reading is the relative clause. It begins with a relative pronoun that and provides additional information about the book. Let's try another one. She is the person who helped me. Here, who helped me is the relative clause, giving more information about the person. Remember, these clauses are modifying or giving additional information about a noun or pronoun in the main sentence. To master this, let's do some practice. Try to spot the relative clause in this sentence. The girl whose bag was stolen reported to the police. Pause the video, think, and then play to check your answer. Did you spot it? Yes, it's whose bag was stolen, starting with the relative pronoun, whose, and giving more details about the girl. That's a wrap for today. I hope this lesson has made it easier for you to spot relative clauses in complex sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to find more sentences to dissect. It might seem challenging at first, but trust me, with practice, you'll start spotting these clauses in no time. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.